Okay. Let's do the things. Looks like we're rolling, so let me go ahead and quickly post, post, post. Now let's go on. Now let's get going. I'm a little late again tonight. Apologies for that. Fuck, I hope my mic is on. Anyways, let's get the Twitch app open on my phone so I can follow along and chat. How's everybody doing? Mobius Y here. Time of recording this Tuesday, November 30th. Uh, anyways, do the stuffing things. There we go. As you can see, we're in Stellaris Console Edition. Going to jump back into our um, Necrophage. Whoa, shit! My bad. Page stream game. There we go. All right, all right. Let's do the thing. <laughs> Fucking finally. All right. Let's do this. See how uh, how much worse things get for the vampires, shall we? <laughs> Had a great weekend. Um, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below how you think this playthrough is going, and. Uh, yeah, what you think we can do to get ourselves out of this awesome pickle that we've been in for goodness knows how long. And if you want to stay up to date on my live stream content or just my Stellaris Console Edition stuff in general, do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified whenever a new video goes public. This is the last stream of November. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for the official Stellaris Discord where you can become part of the greater Stellaris community. There are also links to my own personal stuff, such as my Twitch channel, which I stream this off of, my Twitter feed, where I post important announcements all the time, and last but not least, my own personal Discord for fans of my content to freely join. Hope to see you there. All right. Um, so I do... We'll get going here. I just need to get caught up on what the... Fuck is going on. Um, are we... Are we still excavating? Oh, damn it. Wrong thing. There we go. We were excavating for the head of Zarklan, right? Yes. Yes, we were. And if we can get the head of Zarklan, man, that would be so helpful. The fourth chamber. Very good. Very nice. Um, our federation is losing XP? Really? I call bullshit. Uh, yes, it is. Well, that's not good. All right, well, let's... Uh our next on okay never mind the monthly jeez it was it was in the negative it's just the monthly was uh the monthly was in the positive but the overall cohesion is in the negative it'll fix itself it'll write itself over a little bit here let's try not to get die indeed ancient gamer neil manic what's up thanks for coming by tonight we'll see how long this game lasts because if you recall we are at war with oh jeez we are at war with the Zelven Swarm again. They declared war on us right at the end of the previous stream. So, yeah. We shall see what happens. And we have nobody to protect us. The Great Khan was annihilated. We are in a federation with the Yapathic Cartel and the Yaxkalok something something. Yaxkalok Syndicate. I do believe are currently crapping all over their enemies in another war. Uh, we have completed locations on the Ceramos species. Right, we were doing some gene modding as well. Alfie Yang, delete. Hi there. Thanks for coming by tonight. Hope you're having a good evening. What the? Why do I have an unemployed? Me? Automatic. Why are you not working at a technician job? Come on, game. Do things. Work properly. Damn it. <laughs> Strength Norris. What's up? Orsic Fireforge. Good to see you. Uh, offer association status to the Model 16 sentience. Um, let's vote yes. Sure. Why not? And what else do we have? Particle Lances is now done. Um, what do we want next? Shit. Uh, none of these look terribly appealing. Let's Reflectors. I'm doing good. How's it going? Uh, for Well, for me personally, it's going a hell of a lot better than our empire. <laughs> Over 100 years in, we're down to two systems with one planet and three habitats. And one of those systems has a giant frickin' marauder galleon bombing our only planet. 
So, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do about that. <laughs> if you choose the Interstellar Dominion perk, it sure turn the game around for you. <sighs> it's a good thing I tolerate you, Strength Norse. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh no, it's like the theme of this particular playthrough. The, the whole thing. Oh god, indeed. It's Gorgonox, what's up? Um, so what the hell am I going to do? I've got, uh... Oh yeah, I have 55 clone armies on our capital world so it doesn't get invaded. <laughs> it's what makes the game fun, though, sometimes. Yeah, not, like, honestly, now and then, after playing time and time again, where you're allowed to just, like, do your own thing and then eventually stomp on everybody in the galaxy, like, 150 years into the game, after doing that, like, a dozen times, it is nice to get thrown some, like, every curveball imaginable in a single playthrough to just royally fuck you. <laughs> this is like it is going to be a short stream. Possibly Scotland. Exactly. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Indeed. That's still ours for you. Well, that's really strategy games for you. I've had this. I've had the same thing happen in uh, Age of Wonders, Planetfall as well. And I've even tried upping the difficulty in that game. And uh, I still get to sit back and you know build up a massive army to start killing everybody on turn 140. But that's the fun part for me is when it's late game in Planetfall and it's like, oh yeah, by the way, my army is gigantic. <laughs> Um, okay, what are we getting for... Ooh, we're getting... We're getting nothing for strategic resources. Why are we still here to suffer? <laughs> Emperor Badger's got a right... Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Yep. 100%. <laughs> I played the demo of Age of Wonders Planetfall. Oh, right on. Um, I'm not... I'm, obviously, it's, it'll be very limited compared to the full game. I quite like it. I haven't touched it in a few days, though, because I picked up... Um, I had a few things on Wishlist. One of them was, like, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I've also got, like, uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, this is gonna be... <laughs> I, I think we're fucked. Because that... Is a, is a Zelvin... Uh, fleet closing in. Um, anyways, I was saying, uh, I had a bunch of games on Wishlist, and one of them, um... It uh, came on sale recently, and it's on sale for a few days still on Xbox, but uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Nice little single-player action-adventure game. I've, I'd, uh, I've been keeping an eye on that one for quite some time, and uh, I don't get games new anymore. It came out last year, so I was like, okay, let's just support everything. Let's just support everything. Came out last year. I picked it up this weekend on a pretty, pretty good discount. So I was like, "All right, got a copy of this," and I really like it. I have, no, I've played a crapload of it. I've already got like 14 hours in. To be fair, I didn't go to work yesterday, so that gave me time to play for like six hours when I wasn't sleeping. So if you lose in the stream, do we finish the rest of the stream building another empire? Ah, uh, see, I don't know. What kind of empire are you playing with? Um, you weren't here when we built it, so we we are playing as a necrophage. Time to start a devouring swarm playthrough. <laughs> no, the next one is going to be a one planet challenge. I think Paradox is starting to realize the massive market for grand strategy games or even just strategy games on consoles. Well, that's because there always has been a market for them, and we haven't had them until the last few years. Uh, but yeah, I think I think you're right. Um, Badger is uh, the hell was I saying? They kind of took a big chance with Stellaris Console Edition, and they realized just how much of a thirst there is for it. And I, if I recall right, like, Civ Six did pretty damn well on consoles as well. But, yeah. Nice, I've played with Necros, the least of all the other species. Um, so, yeah, we, went, we took the Necrophage, and we started with Memorialists, so that we also had the Stanctuary of Repose. And this gave us the Chamber of Elevation and the Sanctuary of Repose, which I can build on every planet. And both of those buildings give us plus five stability just for existing. Um, we also took Shadow Council because I was like, eh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. We're, uh, this gives us a, a boost to a Ruler Pop resource output, which I was like, okay. So our Vampires, which is our ascended native species, which can only work as rulers and, and um, 
specialists. I took this because I'm like, yeah, it gives them a resource output. And the minus 75% election influence cost has been kind of nice. It's been costing me 12 influence every 10 years to influence elections, <laughs> which is great. And then uh, once I was able to, I picked up meritocracy for another plus 10% to specialist pop resource output. Uh, we also had uh, egalitarian um, for another plus 5% to specialist pop resources. Uh, slight militarism, which hasn't really done jack shit for us, and spiritualism for increased unity generation and reduced edict cost. Um, actually, I don't remember going egalitarian, militarist, and spiritualist. I think we did fanatic spiritualist and adopted some marital militarism. No, no, we didn't. We started this way. I can't remember. But yeah, like with with memorialists and with the uh, necro fights, necro fights is that the job? Is that the job name? Uh, yes, Necrophytes. So Necrophytes also produce um, a decent amount of uh, unity. Let's see. Each chamber of elevation, Necrophytes, uh, three of them. Necrophytes produce two unity and five amenities. And then we also have the Sanctuary of Repose. Each Death Chronicler produces two society research and four unity. So the extra unity from spiritualism has been quite nice. We finished, like, to be fair, I do play tech tradition at 0.25 on the streams, uh, but we got, once we got rolling with a few more colonies and whatnot, and I had a Sanctuary of Repose and, and a um, Chamber of Elevation on each planet, we were rolling in Unity and got all of our traditions completed pretty goddamn fast. God, okay, chat is moving. Brought Age of Wonders Planetfall on sale at my EB Games recently. Absolutely love it. I was telling you, uh, it was t fucking great game. If Paradox could port Crusader Cold Kings 3 to my to console, oh my. Paradox technically has a monopoly of grand strategy games on consoles. Uh, right now, yeah, kind of. Does console have reanimated army civic? If so, whenever your army kills another army, you have a chance to convert them to your empire as a reanimated army. Yes, we have reanimated armies. In fact, I can reform government to have it. Uh, where did, whoa, what the, what the hell happened there? Anyways, uh, reanimated armies right there. We don't, like, we're only on version 2.8.1, so we don't have reanimators. We cannot resurrect uh, Leviathans yet, but that will be in the future. Um, it was hinted at that sometime in the early portions of next year, we would be looking at a... Um, the next planned major console update, which I'm assuming will take us to like 3.1 or maybe even all the way to 3.2. I doubt 3.2, but probably 3.1 would be my guess. I'm not 100%. I don't actually know. I'm just throwing numbers out there to sound smart so that more people hear this information and subscribe to my channel. So it wasn't enough that we had a giant Marauder Galleon bombing the shit out of us. Now we've got a whole fleet awesome all right well we're done advanced space habitation uh we can now go ahead and get titans for no <laughs> all right so what that does is once we have six districts on our habitats we can upgrade habitat once more uh which i only have enough alloys to do once because we're just sitting at 2000 um Maginot, trade station damn it we didn't get it. <sighs> oh, hello. Archaeological site event pending. Hello there. After a grueling search, the last key was discovered in the form of a minuscule button hidden in one of the carved alien glyphs. Glyphs. Wow, reading is hard. Zarklan, at your service. The body is too far gone to be moved, but the head is surprisingly well preserved given its age. Not wanting to leave empty handed, some archaeologists use a laser to cut her to remove the head. We got the head of Zarklan. Intriguing. And I totally forgot that there was a spiritualist fallen empire in our game. It, it is true then. You have found the legendary tomb of Zarklan. When the augurs told me, I did not believe them, but the evidence is irrefutable. I understand that you have the prophet's head in your possession. Then as was foretold, the chosen of the great Zarklan have at last been revealed. As would have been Zarklan's wish, any unsettled holy worlds near our space are yours to do with as you wish. There are also many devout pilgrims on Celestial Throne who would be greatly honored to fight under your banner. Thanks, dude. And we got a relic. Let's go ahead and use El Relic. Zarklan wills it. There is no greater honor than to serve the chosen of Zarklan. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, the problem is it appeared right on top of our home world. <laughs> so let's see how much damage our four ships can do to a whole fucking fleet. A pew 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 pew. Get em, boys. Uh, they did very little. <laughs> Uh, we lost two escorts. And they haven't lost jack shit. <laughs> People say it's impossible, but they do forget Stellaris and City Skylines are some of Paradox's most CPU-intensive games they have. Very true. Uh, City Skylines was has been out for a little while now for uh, consoles, now that I think about it. Ah, here come the armies. Ah, oh, perfect. Sick. <sighs> We're doomed. They're landing... They're landing a garrison of 657. Oh, hang on. Maybe I can add some clone armies. Uh, I totally forgot about that. Eh. Do, 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 do. This might be a little too little too, little too late. We'll see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And quarry armies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There. It's not going to completely stop an invasion, but it'll hold them off for a little bit. Yeah, they're realizing, oh shit, there's like a garrison of 10,000 on there. So, uh... <laughs> are, are they going to do it anyways? No way. Well, they're probably just going to wait until they bomb the shit out of us first. Or are they, they're not bombing right now. Really? What are you doing then? The hostile fleet has appeared to us. What is happening right now? Surely you're bombing. Uh, 21.46. No, they're not bombing us right now. It's stayed the same. <laughs> okay. And a lack of buttons is a shitty argument because console Stellaris has perfected it. Yes, that's just good porting on Tantalus's part. If you ask me. You are so fucked. Nah! <laughs> What's that phrase that Critical Drinker says all the time? Nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, somebody just died. Our general. Okay. Well, that's too bad. We lost our general. Let's get a new general, shall we? What is that symbol? Zelvin Swarm has armies in orbit of planet. Okay. It's been a long time since I've had armies just sitting in orbit. Uh, let's get a new general. Uh, Butcher? Eh. We'll do uh, Army Logistician. That will help offset the energy costs. Not by a lot, but by a little bit. I don't know what what I don't know what I'll do. I might just jump into like I like I've I've said it a few times. I haven't really played much Stellaris Console Edition off stream. So what might happen is I'll just jump into one of my older Iron Man saves that I've been had going on for a while, just to play around and whatnot. Um, it, it is still a Grand Admiral game. I only play on Grand Admiral these days. And, uh... You know, it's just, uh... Where I'm in a position to do a lot more goofing around and whatnot. An oh, here come the armies! Here, here so come the armies! What, how are we looking here? Oh shit, we only got four clone armies. <laughs> So our uh, our proposed defensive station is currently under invasion before we could properly get defenses online. <laughs> what? CK3 is actually coming to next gen? Wait, you didn't know that? Actually, they broadcast that like... They meant they, uh, they gave that news out uh, quite some time ago, actually, Badger. Um... I didn't realize you weren't aware of that. My bad. Ah, good times. Good times. The one place I want to protect is Sparky because it's our energy. And my god, do we need energy. <laughs> I'm getting a PS5 now. Okay. Well, good luck finding one. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Uh... Voting to enact something, blah, blah, blah. We're bottom of di in diplomatic power. 
Maybe it'll be on Game Pass on Xbox. Maybe. Usually, like, I was thinking of, uh, honestly, I've been saving up money, uh, like a, a significant amount. Lab 42 is porting it. I've, I've actually been saving up a significant amount of money over the last, I don't know, like eight months. Uh, I've been attempting to for a few years now, but I've actually pulled it off by um, making a few lifestyle changes for the last little while here. And I think I have enough saved up, not a huge amount, but I think I have enough saved up where I could go to one of my local computer stores and walk in and be like, this is my, this is my budget. What would you suggest for um, a gaming computer? I don't want something that can run at fucking 60 FPS or sorry, 120 FPS or 180 FPS, whatever the fucking FPS is these days in 4K or anything like that. But something that could reasonably, that could run most modern games at like 60 FPS and freaking 1080p or some bullshit like that, that would be good enough for me. Um, but, and, and more importantly, something that can run some better fucking editing software both for images and for video editing, and, uh, well, that's really about it. Um, our general has died while commanding 4th Adamant Shield. Well, fuck you, buddy. Um, because I would like to... Or sick Fireforge, me too. Uh, I'm an Xbox convert because of Game Pass. Oh, yeah. Game Pass got me into Stellaris. Yep, that worked for a lot of people. He started in OnlyFans. That's where the money came from. Yes. So my new computer, I need a bigger hard drive as well so that I can store all of my OnlyFans videos and, uh, you know, upload them and whatnot. I thought about an external hard drive and I was like, nah, I don't really need to ex take it with me anywhere. I can't use it at work for obvious reasons. My dad got a hacked... Vita with an OLED screen from a friend in Canada for a mint NES game that he got for 30 bucks. <laughs> well, to be fair, uh, to be fair, your dad kind of got ripped off because mint NES games these days are worth, oh my god, so much money. So much money. Okay, uh, I still need technicians, so no, no building slots yet. Well, Second thought, an exotic gas refinery would be necessary because then we could do an energy nexus. This was two years ago? Okay, well... Oops. A little fucking late to do anything about it now. That's okay. And the, and the Vita was old new stock. Uh, we have crime here? I guess we're launching an anti... Sorry, I guess we're negotiating with crime lords. Boop. 95 stability, baby. I got Stellaris Premium City Skyline with all add-ons to date. Both were under 30 bucks and Civ 6 I got on sale. Brand new and hacked for my dad. Huh. See, I have... Uh, I picked up Civ 5... <laughs> It was kind. Of, it was kind of shitty because I went on to Steam, and I saw Civ Five was on. It was on like a huge discount. I got it for plus like the first DLC. I got for like ten bucks, some crap like that. Huge discount. So I bought that. I'm like, oh, okay, right on. And then I got into Civ. Five, I got into Civ Five. You know how it is when you play a new game like Civilization. You get way too addicted to it uh, right away because it's really good, right? So I'm playing, I'm playing the crap out of that. Like, two weeks, That's not even. I think like a week after I bought it, Civ 6 was announced. And I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I wasn't a terribly happy camper, but it's it's fine. I don't buy new games anymore. So I knew I wasn't good. I was like, eh, whatever. I got Civ 5. It's new to me. It's a good game. I like it. Blah, blah, blah. So, no complaints. Well, no, no major ones anyways. Um, we're going to have to slap down another... Uh, where is my... I don't have synthetic crystal plants. Are you shitting me? And just like that, Moby has begun cursing a lot. Let's do a chemical plant. This clerk can work in a chemical plant. 
Shit had that store smell on when it, when it got here. <laughs> Alright, so what exactly is going on here? Armies, devastation, still not bombing us. They're just kind of chilling in orbit. Like, we're here. We're ready to evade. Oh shit, you gotta. What's our garrison right now? Oh shit, you got 1447 on the planet. God damn, that's a lot. Well, we're just gonna have to wait. Well, you guys get your fleet of armies over here, and I'm just gonna build more clones. I'm really excited for Evil Genius 2. Uh, that's... I think I saw somebody play that once. That's where you build, like, this lair. And you have your workers running around doing stuff, right? And you have to have, like, sentry guards because there will be, like, an in investigator that comes in and... Does some stuff. And you gotta be like, no, get the fuck out. That kind of thing. I know, I'm making absolutely zero sense. All right, we're going to re-up the uh, recycling campaign because it's actually making us go negative in consumer goods now. Uh, are they bombing this place? Uh, yes. Quarry is being bombed. Great. Yes, henchmen might look into that. You're an evil genius building your lair. Yes, gotcha. That game actually looked really interesting. I'm like, huh, that's right up my alley. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was a real evil genius. Hmm. Oh, you know what we needed is clone bats. Oh, I have them. Shit, what am I talking about? Shut up, Moby. Don't you know what you have in your own planets? Dumbass. Part one was addicting, but so old that it lacked a lot. Ah, I see. Research agreement proposal. So uh, how about a uh, save the vampires proposal? What happened to that? When's that happening? Huh? Where the hell are you guys? Get your fleets over here. Requesting assistance. You know what we could do is we could say fuck these clone armies and get a couple gene warrior armies. Keyword on a couple because they take forever and they're pretty expensive. And they have a lot of upkeep so it's going to make our energy tank. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Warriors. Five times longer to uh, to get a Gene Warrior army compared to a clone army. Ooh, the vampire species can only support four armies. Alright, well, let's get a few Cinematis. A few Jeff. Gene Warriors more than meets the genes. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Steering clear of belligerence. Oh, thanks. What the hell is it? Oh, that's our... A science vessel. I totally forgot about our uh, little Zarklan fleet. Two ships. Yeah, two ships is going to hold all that off. Ouch. Well, there goes... Uh, Space for our ally. Sort of. Really am excited for Crusader Kings 3 now. Fair enough. It, 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 like, all those kind of grand strategies. I have Europa Universalis 4. I got it for free. I forget what off of, though. If Whether it was Epic Game Store or Steam. One of the two. Um, don't get me wrong. Like, it, it looks cool and all that stuff. But at the same time, it's... A little bit of input from it. It's not. It doesn't look like it's as much for me as like Stellaris or Age of Wonders, Planetfall, um, especially Planetfall because Planetfall is very, very combat focused. Whoa! What the shit? What is all this? Successful trial. It's a great day for trade and commerce. The trial period is over and the project has been fully evaluated. Enough data was collected to see an increase in efficiency that warrants full implementation of the new logistical standard. Now begins a process in which all shipping operations will switch to the new standard, but this process is fully automatic. The foodstuff will be delivered, the consumer goods will reach their destination, the spice will flow, and so on. Good job. 
Incumbents tax, cost of progress, and process sharing modifiers all removed. Streamlined logistics modifier added, giving the following effects. Plus 10% trade value and plus 2.5% monthly consumer goods. Well, hello, revenue stream. Okay. Huh. That's probably for our federation. Thought I was going to have to work with CK2 on my ThinkPad. Look, I like how those games are a little more personal. The people matter a little more. Your errors can absolutely break the game. Oh, fair enough. Spice must flow. Well, in Planetfall, your heroes can totally break the game. Neener, 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 neener. <laughs> Jeez, are, are, are we... How are we losing... I'm a little confused. I might have too many assault armies. Maybe that's the problem. I'm not sure. Why am I losing garrison strength? I'm curious. We're not getting bombed. Uh, smuggler's port. Disinformation Center. And the economy is more akin to what we have and helps satisfy my, me my medieval needs after Stellar satisfies my sci-fi needs. Fair enough. I played the Vanguard and started on that research world, and I have to say, I can tell the devs asked Paradox for some advice. Yeah. If you ask, if you ask me, though, uh, Planetfall's espionage system with its covert ops and whatnot... It, like it's quite simple, but it is—it's still, in my opinion, really well done. And I think that uh, Stellaris would have benefited if it uh, followed suit somehow. See, now we're losing another one. Hmm. Some of the artwork and music is definitely from Paradox. Well, for Planetfall, um, for Planetfall, the the. Um, Soundtrack was is uh, composed by uh, I think it's Michael Michael Vanderbos. It's spelled Michelle, so maybe it's Mitchell. Uh, Twelve influence to reinstate our current ruler. Sure, it's so recognizable. It's really good though. I have a custom playlist on my phone for when uh, me and some co when some me and some buddies and or coworkers play some uh, space themed. Uh, board games and it's the entire playlist is songs from Stellaris from Planetfall and songs from an artist known as Stellar Drone who makes um, space themed um, electro music okay I need to look this I'm, I'm genuinely curious now Keep base on the I went down Dark Psionics 2. Oh, Cynumbra? I gotta get Planetfall and continue that game. New ruler mandate. Shit, we got a new ruler. I did not mean for that to happen. I gotta look something up here because. Uh. Prime Lord Dale, Mastery of Nature, da, da 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 It shows, like, there's an icon that we're being bombarded, but the devastation is not going up. Maybe the bombardment stance is, uh... Let's see here. Oh, I can't even look. Shit. Never mind. Huh. Okay. Pops necrophaged. We have elected a new ruler. Okay, whatever. Um, I went through and uh, I played my first game in, uh, in Planetfall. I played each race. Like, I, I started a new game, picked a new race with a new secret tech. So, like, one game I did Vanguard Celestian, another game was, like, Devar Void Tech, another game was uh, Kirko Xenoplague, another game was Syndicate Promethean, stuff. Like, you know, mix um, mix and matching where every time was with a new race, a new secret tech, 
And it was just to get achievements for the Doomsday victories as well as, uh, you know, scoring your first win with that race. Uh, and since then, I've gone back through and I've, and I've been playing... I'm playing through... Uh, or, well, I, I'm trying to. I'm playing through every race with Void Tech, and I fucking love Void Tech. Um, I've played Void Tech Vanguard. I actually did that live on stream, uh, and it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, I did Void Tech Amazon. That was that was interesting and pretty fun. Also pretty good. Um, Void Tech Kirko surprised the crap out of me uh, over how good it is, and I had a lot of fun with that one. Um, and right now I'm, I'm playing a game. And I'm on like turn 150 just about. I haven't touched it in about three, four days. Uh, but I'm doing a Void Tech, uh, Void Tech Devar game. And that one is being... that I'm having a blast with that one. Um, I quite like Devar as well. I'm finding I really like Devar. Um, and uh, I still have to do Void Tech, uh, Void Tech Assembly and Void Tech uh, Syndicate. But... I'm kind of on the fence about actually doing that because at the same time, uh, I really would like to do um, Celestian Kirko. Crusader Kings 3, Stellaris, City Skylines, and Age of Wonders Planet Fall. Something bad is going to happen soon. <laughs> yeah. Vanguard have the aesthetics and best looking leaders teleports into your fridge. Yeah. Um, Van Vanguard is kind of like your, your go-to. Like, they're a really good entry-level um, faction. Like, really good entry-level faction. Um, because they're, they're quite simple. And uh, very, like, they have a much more kind of defensive kind of play style in the uh, tactical battles I've found. You rely a lot on keeping your units back and t attacking with their ranged attacks. And using copious amounts of Overwatch with, like, their troopers um, and their, their walker mechs. And even the, their leaders, so like they're a really good um, first-time kind of kind of race. I don't think Kirko would be good for a new player because uh, they're they're kind of eh. they have a lot of like uh, about half of their units are like strictly melee. Or well, I shouldn't say half. There's there's a few. At least one of our pop founder species on Vampire is up for sale on the slave market. Really? Sell slaves. Press A to select slaves to sell. Can we sell any? Nope. I guess not. Well, that's too bad. I was really looking forward to that. Can't buy that guy because reasons. Oh, now he's gone. It's just the soldiers of a fallen empire comes back to see it destroyed, so they immediately start rebuilding it. Yeah, that's what does it for me. If I couldn't play the Vanguard, I would play the Cyborgs because of Deptus Mechanicus. I still haven't even played the frickin' uh, the main campaign of Planetfall. I'm still on, like, the first mission. There's a lot of reading in it, which eh, kind of puts me off. To understand what the hell is going on, there's a lot of reading. Which, to be fair, there's a lot of that in Stellaris as well, but, like, I want to... Stellaris does... Uh, the story in Stellaris is what you make of it, depending on the anomalies and events and story events and the things that happen to you. Whereas Planetfall actually has a campaign that, you know, explains what's going on in the galaxy and stuff like that. And it's a lot of reading, so I was like, eh... Not that I not that I usually don't mind reading. It's just uh, I've gotten too used to playing a strategy game where when I'm reading something, I just read the little important bit. I did this. This is what I got for it. <laughs> the story is more forced. Yeah. I had some people leave mining jobs. Are you shitting me? Why did they do that? More importantly, why aren't we dead yet? See, 
supposedly we're still being bombed, but it's not. It's not. De it's not devastation. It's just killing our armies slowly, little bit by little bit. And there's going to come a point where they have more. Uh, they have more armies than we do. Our gene warriors are pretty strong, but like we're losing clone armies faster than we can replenish them with gene warriors. Un uh, unsurprisingly. They say playing strategy games helps develop your brain better and keeps it active, so shove a child on it. Learn the, learn the intricacies of economics, yeah, because the AI is stupid. Ah, it could very well just be that uh, we've got an interesting little bug going on. How to abuse systems and break trust. <laughs> How to spy on your friends and get away with it. Okay, um, so it looks like our allies are kind of keeping the Zelvin Swarm at bay in this ongoing campaign of theirs. How strong are their fleets, though? That's what I'm really curious about. Like, in an instance, like, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. 7 and 24, and we're looking at 31. Combine that with at least one more. Maybe not a 3,000 fleet, but whatever. You should start expanding, says Neomatic. Gee, good idea. Do you care to offer any advice as to where the fuck we should expand, buddy? Let me just go ahead and build a construction ship so that we can uh, start constructing some uh, sweet new star bases. Yo, wage warfare and marry your niece or destroy a planet as a political move. Show of power. <laughs> See if if I if I was able to have, like spend more time with my niece or nephew or something like that, or just you know with my own, I would I would try to get them interested in the games that I play, like right now, such as these ones. But I would also try to get them to uh, give the games that I grew up with a shot. I still have a working Nintendo 64 for fuck's sake. I'd be like, hey, try out this game. It's called uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. And, uh, you know, I played it a lot growing up. Let's give it a shot. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll like it. Try it out. And I can help you with, I can help you with any problems. I know the game inside and out, <laughs> you know, and, and see how they, see how they enjoy it. It's like, oh, you like that one? Well, here's Majora's Mask. <laughs> make billions of aliens disappear. Have the masses worship you as a god. Make a covenant with a gestalt being of sentient emotions. Right. All that and more. There's Mega Engineering. Let's take that for no reason. Our seven alloys a month will definitely allow us to uh, make a mega structure in the next, I don't know, six decades. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll be. I'll actually be seeing my nephew. They're, they're my brother's kids. I'll be seeing them for Christmas this year. They're staying at my folks' place become a god among men and have immense psychic power and be immortal. There you go. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Unfortunately, the last time I saw them for Christmas, which I think was two to three years ago, I want to say three years ago, um, they were at my folks' place for Christmas there too, and my brother was actually able to uh, find time away from work, from work to visit and we magically got this space back somehow. Cool. Um, we're going to downgrade that. Um, yeah, we, we learned, that, like, this is when they were, like, 7 and 5. And we learned stay tonight just saying hi. What's up, Buffo? I appreciate it, buddy. Good to see you. You got Jeff's Bane back. Oh, shit, I did. That's our capital. Holy shit. Um, what about the... No, we don't have it back because Malakath is under somebody else's control. The, the Yapathi cartel controls it. Sweet. Yeah! We just got our own world back. Fuck you! And everything is destroyed. Wow. Undergoing assimilation. Holy fuck. All the temple research labs, all the way foundries. Oh, man. Brutal. Brutal. Look what they did to our home world. 
Look what they did! Oh, our beautiful world. It's nothing but smoking ruins as far as the eye can see. All these ruined buildings, all those pops, they ate them all. I mean, obviously, they're a devouring swarm, but still. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, that's brilliant. Uh, where the hell is our construction ship? There. All right, let's go. Let's go expand it. Oh, I don't care about there being stuff in the way. Stop being invasive. There is no route for the fleet to reach. Oh my God, I have an FTL inhibitor in Zambor. I can't leave. Bring about the absolute destruction of your people and have them exiled to a planet until your sins come to reap its due. There you go. Migration treaty. Vampires. Blah 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 blah. Our talent exchange program. We have found that free migration of people between worlds can be highly beneficial to a growing economy. All right, sure, whatever, don't care. Oh, I'm losing resources all of a sudden. I'm losing crystals. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Probably because I don't have synthetic crystal plants. God damn it. Um, anyways, yeah, I was saying that the last time I saw my nephew and niece, not the last time I saw them, which was earlier this year. I went swimming with them for a few hours. But the last time I spent time with them around Christmas was, I'm pretty sure, about three years ago. And they were playing with their Legos that my brother bought them. And we learned that uh, we learned that they play Fortnite. We're both like, excuse me? And we heard that. And, we, and both me and my brother just looked at each other. And we got these raised eyebrows. And he's like, so do you, so do you watch somebody else? Because one of them commented, yeah, Fortnite's this really cool game. So we asked them, so do you, do you just watch somebody play Fortnite or do you play it? And they were like, and they were like well, sometimes both. And uh, I, before, my, before my brother said anything, I was like, you kids are a little young to be playing Fortnite. And my brother's like, yeah, I don't want you kids playing Fortnite anymore. <laughs> this was a while ago. Not, not gonna stop what they do. But live in eternity, face not the merch of death. Your eternal fate is torment. Did you have that goofy ass font? <laughs> I can't believe we're still alive. Sorry, I don't understand how the hell we're still alive. <laughs> We should have been slapped around and kicked out of this galaxy three times over, but we're still here. Don't know how. <laughs> and our allies are retaking our territory for us. I love it. And that's why we said, yep, Federation. As soon as the Khan was, was defeated, it's like, oh, shit, now what? And then I'm looking around like, oh my god, I need I need a federation. I need a federation. They'll actually help. Anything else will not do, because they don't help. <laughs> Man, they upgraded this. Holy, what do we have here? Oh, I can't look at it. Right. Demon's Moss Station. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have six hangar bays. Holy shit. So it's not a citadel. It's the one right beneath it. Star Fortress, I think? Yeah, Star Fortress. It says it right up there. Uh, um, FTL inhibitor, starbase fire control, well, whatever. FTL inhibitor, disruption field generator, and communications jammer. This is the one that I was upgrading, isn't it? Rated at 29.3k. Yes, it's nexus. It's necessary. You dyslexic hair tie. What? Are you talking shit? Is that shit talk here? might be going back on the galaxy map, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it is a good day to be a vampire, apparently. <laughs> Woo! All right, uh, what the hell are we putting on quarry now? Oh, I don't know what I just skipped. Shit. What was that? I don't, what? Hello? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, uh, mining station. What are we putting here? 
I need a... Uh, oh, I have plus two on that already, so... Let's go ahead and do a mineral purification plant. Yes, please. Yeah, I guess. What? Well, what? New dry launchers! Let's get gambled. So what are we doing now? See, we still have armies that are getting killed off. I am amazed that they have not invaded. I really am. Because we're down to only 700 garrison. And they've got 1.2k. So they're like, no, we're still not invading. That's not good enough. <laughs> okay. Whatever. You do you. Weirdos. Ever thought about playing the Romance of the Three Kingdoms series? No, I have not. I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, watch out, we're losing resources across the board all of a sudden. Oh, because I have four criminals. Great. The next Federation has been unlocked. Our f new Federation perks are available. So we've got plus 5% trade value, plus 10% ship speed while in Federation space, and the, uh, uh, president, that's what it is, has another envoy as well. My horrific. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, do a thing. What am I going to do? I was being nice with somebody else, and I forget. Oh, there it is. Nation of, Nation of Hishe. Declined war. Okay. Vamp Vampy's brains are simply less developed. It's science. Look it up. I, I love how they put that in there. I think that's one of the better... The better, uh... Like, kind of sort of insulting lines from a materialist. <laughs> because there's so many people that say crap like that these days. I think it's funny. Because because of the evolutionary situation on uh, on uh, planets, the vampy's brains are far less developed. It's science. Look it up. <laughs> I can't believe people say that these days. We built a short world that doubles as a penal colony. You can come in, but you cannot leave. Fun is fun so great it is mandatory indeed. Coincidentally, you do you are also mandatorily required. You are, it is also mandatory that you work a job. It is a long-running strategy series made by Ko, Koi Tecmo. Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I'll have to take a look at that. How you doing this evening, MJ Steven? Thanks for popping by tonight. Appreciate it. Witnessing the fall of our Necrophage Empire. This is like dream number seven with this empire. And we should have been like annihilated. I don't know how long ago. A while ago. Like two streams ago. Maybe three. I need robot plants. There it is. Jeez, that took way too long to find. And we need a chamber of elevation. And a sanctuary of repose. Where is it? There we go. All right, open borders from these guys. Cool. Combat training, very good. And hollow temple. All right. Uh, sure. Hollow temple it is. Okay, so our admin cap is now a serious problem. As is a bunch of other stuff because holy crap, we got these planets back, but uh, there is nothing on them. Demolish. Demolish. And I'm definitely getting rid of this hollow temple because... Actually, let's just downgrade it for now. We were losing crystals because of that. Okay, I need uh, technicians badly. Wizard needs food badly. Vampires need energy badly. Uh... Chamber of Elevation, 
And a robot assembly plant, please. There we go. Actually, I can replace the temple population. Oh, shit. You're already working as priests. Son of a bitch. Um, I'll... Ch you know what? I'll just change it to a sanctuary of repose. Fuck it. That's good enough. Stability increase. With two death chroniclers. Oh, baby. Do 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 Okay, so we have uh, fully upgraded the habitat of Sparky, which is our energy location. So what I'm going to do is build these two remaining reactor districts, which will give us another six technicians. That way, we'll have a total of twenty technicians, uh, two from the energy nexus and eighteen from the six reactor districts. That's a decent amount, considering each technician on here right now is producing 8.1, 7.8, 8.8, 7.8. Uh, okay, roughly about 8 energy credits. So 20 of them, that's going to be 160 energy credits minimum on this... Uh, uh, on this habitat. I almost forgot what the hell it was. Um, so yeah, that's a start. And I, I still have, like, a couple building slots. I know for a fact I have a couple building slots still available to use t uh, to fill in and create the odd job here. Most of it's going to be refineries, though, because I'm down to 15 housing. So, uh, I have 25 pops now. I, will, I have room for another 15. Six of them are going to be... Uh, additional technicians from these reactor districts. Sorry, seven of them. Excuse me. Because there's one open job right now. So, out of 15 minus seven, that will leave me another eight jobs. So, between upgrading the buildings that we already have and the building slots we will have available, which will be one, two, three, four of them, I need to figure out a way to create eight jobs. Um, I'm definitely going to want some more refineries to improve our strategic resources. Absolutely. Um, so I'm probably going to put like, I don't know, we can do eight, and then if I do three refineries, then I only need five, or sorry, I could do like two refineries, then I only need six jobs, and that would leave, eh, I don't know, I don't know, I might just, I might just do, 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 how much if we upgrade this, that gives us three necro fights, holy shit, I might do two refineries, and then like an upgraded sanctuary of repose, and then, like, one more research lab or something weird like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. We'll do the math Uh Maybe if I had three refineries, that'd be 765 jobs remaining. Yeah, I think that would be better. Three refineries plus one more building. Probably a Sanctuary of Repose because it will give us another plus five stability. Along with a Chamber of Elevation. And then we'll have three... We will have... Uh, three housing left over, so basically three pops. Room for three more pops. So we'd have to create three more jobs. And that's easy to do because I could simply upgrade a research complex. Or sorry, research uh, upgrade a research lab to a research complex. Problem solved. And then that will be exactly 40 pops working on this habitat. I've said it again and again and again and again and again. And I've said it in the Discord a lot too. You can get away like, I'm finding that the sweet for habitats that produce resources with like reactor districts or um, astro mining bay um, districts. I've found that the sweet spot for number of pops is about 40. And it's it seems to work out just fine. To be fair, I almost always take Voidborn as well. So it's a little easier to do it because I get those first two slots for free. And in this particular playthrough, uh, we have the adaptability um uh, tradition tree, which gave us this adaptive ecology and gave us one more free building slot. So I'm getting three building slots for free. I still don't know how the hell I got adaptability and uh, what was the other one? Oh, just adaptability. Okay. Yeah, I, I found that quite weird. Like, I'm like, adaptability? Isn't that like a gestalt fucking tradition? Why that? Or, yeah, tradition? Why the hell do I have it? Why is your last ascension perk locked? Because we don't, we have not gotten ascension theory. The technology ascension theory. There's, a, ooh, the L cluster beckons. The nation of Heshse 
is getting there. Um, the reason for that is because there's only seven tradition trees. Uh, so... You only get uh, seven ascension perks from your traditions. The other one comes from the ascension theory technology. You know what? Rather than... Oh, shit. I could use admin buildings. I don't really have any room anywhere. I should build one on quarry. Alright, let's get a mineral purification hub. It'll pay off. We only have three miners, but that's fine because the hub will still give that bonus to currently existing miners. Uh, we could do a resort world, sure. Maybe I'll use one. And Malakath is still doing stuff, so we'll leave that. Uh, yeah, we got three necrophytes. Actually, let, we should lock out the enforcers. We don't really need the enforcers right now. And rulers definitely lock those out for now. Not until our pops uh, are upgraded to vampires. I wonder, planetary's prospecting. Should I do any of these? 500 energy for that. Huh. Great promise. Okay, so this was going to be a consumer goods world, if I remember correctly. Uh, we don't need enforcers, so fuck off. And I definitely don't need clerks. Alright, so let's go back to uh, Malakath. We've got too many... Oh, I have no farmers. Never mind. I'm on drugs. Ignore me. Uh, too many farmers here, so one, two, three... Uh, what the hell just happened? Where'd the other pops go? Why did I have to restrict five when there were only... Oh, you know what? We just finished a building slot. Or a building. Duh. That's why. Stupid. So, uh, here's a fun fact. We're still alive! We're still alive. I don't know how, but we are. And it looks like we're... Enagor back under our control, quite possibly, and get Eden Prime. This is our second agriculture world, so that would be kind of nice because I can get rid of all these stupid agriculture districts on here. Maybe they're just waiting for the, uh... Uh, for the armies to get in position and invade? I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. I'm just watching the, uh... I'm just watching the progress, and it's amusing. Ooh, there's a, there's a battle going on here, I hope. Let's see. Yep, get shit on. Ah, fuck you guys. <laughs> Holy crap, these guys have an 80k fleet. God damn. Good thing they're on our side. There's he Fen Habanis as well. Oops, wrong. Yeah, Fen Habanis. That was... Which one was going to be our freaking... I can't... Oh my god, this is... This has been totally abandoned. Wow. Wow. Barely alive. Yeah. This has been... This, uh, you gotta admit, though, this has probably been the most interesting playthrough in quite some time, just because of all the shit going south and the, and the amusingly incredible story that is occurring because of it. Uh, why? Alright, well, I got a few farmers... Now I'm negative on food. Great. I don't know why that is. Oh well. You know what I haven't figured out is how you get how you make a food habitat. You have to rely on hydroponics farms, and those only produce two farmer jobs. And then you can and then you can you can do a food processing facility, but that only gives you one farmer job. So technically speaking, each building slot, which is only unlocks for every five pops. Each building slot only gives you two more jobs. So where do you get the other three jobs from? Probably trade districts or something stupid would be my guess. Which I would not be a fan of, but that's me just guessing. So I would have to try that out. Or maybe even just other buildings. I don't know. Upgrade most of the other buildings. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Oh, I'm sleepy. Whew, excuse me. So, uh, I never did get around to uh, why I didn't stream yesterday or anything like that. I'm going to have to stream the end of Mass Effect Legendary Edition with JV.
that's going to be Thursday. Uh, I really, really, really wanted to kick off November, or sorry, kick off December, um, with our first December stream being No Man's Sky, but that's not happening. Uh, yes, really, really, I shouldn't say really, really ill. I, I did not feel good uh, Sunday night, which is retarded because I had people over. Uh, I had some co-workers over up in the early afternoon. Uh, taught them how to play this damn board game that I have, the Silver River, and we played until... Um, didn't really start playing until about 2, and we finished around 7. One of, the, one of the guys left about an hour earlier. But we finished around 7, and then I, I, I made some food for my lunches for the week uh, after I had supper. And then I was largely okay just something really really you know greasy in the you know feeling a little greasy in the guts a, a wee bit um until i went to bed and i'll well i don't need to go into details i'll put it this way i could i got no sleep sunday night uh and come morning like not long after my alarm i just texted my boss i was like hey i'm not gonna be in today i don't feel good and, uh, yeah, I tried to just go back to bed. I was really dehydrated, really exhausted. And, uh, I took a nap before, uh, before last night's stream. I was, I was awake for a while. I played some Immortals Phoenix Rising. And I was like, well, I should get some, I, I'm, I got a stream coming up, so I should get some rest before that happens. Um, so that I don't feel like crap. You know, but I got up from that nap and I still felt garbage and I was just like, no, nah, I can't do this tonight, which I wasn't too happy about. I was really looking forward to that final stream, so we'll have to do it a little later this week. None nonetheless, it it will be will be here. There is oh, oh what do we got this shift? OK, there is something poetic Prophage species being brought back of death. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> The irony was not lost on me. Okay, we're uh, we're an empire that's all about like death and this, that, and the other thing. And uh, what's happening? We we almost got wiped off the face of the galaxy, and we're coming back. And our federation is really coming through for us. Oh, hello! We're gonna see a battle here. Hang on, let me go ahead and pause. Put it down to slowest speed. I think I did that already. Hang on. Do 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 do. Unpause. Oop! It's on second highest. Boop, that's fastest and slowest. All right, outliner options. Hide all UI. Let's take a look at this as true observers. What's happening in this thread, yo? And we're, we're, to do it like the best way possible, we're going to lock onto the planet and do this. There we go. And now I can do this. Boop. There we go. Off we go. Bam, bam, bam. Lasers galore. Holy shit, there's the strike craft. Look at them go. Oh no, they're trying to run away. It's not working out for them, is it? Well, Eden Prime is not being uh, rescued under our control anytime soon because that was the fleet that was in the system. It just got annihilated. That was very short. <laughs> Still cool though. I wish uh, I wish there was a way to have a much more free roam camera. I I asked about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure in like some kind of a Q and A or some crap. And I was like, man, would it be possible to have? I, I I'm pretty sure it was still way back in the, in the day um, when Dale and Aziz were uh, still like kind of our two community guys who would do the Stellaris console edition streams. And I asked about it, and I was like, would it be possible to have like some kind of observer cam where it's borderline free-moving uh, with some reason we could just watch stuff with no HUD and stuff like that? And they, and they basically mentioned, ah, we don't think that'll be a thing. They were like, well, we can't say for sure, because that, that would be a question better posited to Tantalus, but it's not exactly something that's really on the list or something. I, f I forget how it was exactly. This is like go over two now, so I, d I don't remember the wording, but then again, the right people to ask. They were just there to do a stream, talk about, 
uh, talk about some upcoming Stellaris console edition stuff I do remember. All right, I'm going to go commit mass atrocities. May the damned souls be with you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks for coming by tonight. Oh, boy. We still got, uh, l like, over 45 minutes stream, too. Why is my Duffy? Ugh, gross. I can barely breathe through it. All right, um, do we have a star base here in Jeff's Bane? Yes, we do. It's going to definitely be a shipyard. And replace this building with a... Well, I can't do a fleet academy, so fuck you. Uh, more star bases. We have two. Yep, just one in Jeff's Bane. And a bastion here in Keb Duran. Why the hell? Okay. Unexpected. But not unfortunate. Let's downgrade that because I don't care. Uh, all right, that was weird. What I really want is the station in Demon's Maw. I want that back badly. First, provide the best protection: heads or gun slash missile batteries or. Um, okay, me personally. But practically speaking, gun batteries. Because they're they're. It gives it, like, and or kinetic weapons and stuff like that, which, in in my opinion, is more uh, effective for Starbase. Don't get me wrong, Strikecraft are still damn good in, in this game, but uh, some of the AI likes to go really, 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 really heavily in defense in their designs. Um, so, if you ask me, gun batteries would objectively be better because they can't be countered with things like point defense and that kind of crap and flak. Uh, missile batteries, missiles are just god awful in this version of the game, so don't bother with missile batteries. Uh, ha what hangar bays do really well, though, uh, they do two things better than uh, missile and gun batteries. So if you notice on the right hand side, both gun and missile batteries add some protection and increase the protection range of that star base. You can, your maximum protection range can be, I'm pretty, stir, I'm pretty sure it's still just uh, six, um, but the trade collection range can be seven because of the hyperlane registrar, I do believe. Hang on. Just wanna double check before I say shit that apparently isn't true. Uh, yeah, it looks, like, it looks like I'm correct. Okay. So yeah. Um, you can have a maximum, and what happens is, um, if you have a star base, let's, well, for example, we have our star base here in a shipe, so, uh, trade protection extending out to six means that it, it is exuding trade protection all the way out to one, two, three, four, five, six hyperlane jumps away, so, very, very close to Jeff's main, so any, uh, if we had a, a bastion in Jeff's main, and it was, Extending trade protection six hyperlane jumps away. One, two, and and it's overlapping by that point. Three, four, five, six towards a shipe so. So five out of six would be overlapping with the trade protection coming from a shipe so. So there's there's that. Uh, those trade protection just helps along your trade routes where you're getting trade value uh, throughout your empire. Uh, it helps to prevent piracy. Uh, is is what that does now. What a, what, there's two things that hangar bays do better than gun and missile batteries, and one of them is they create more trade protection. Gun and missile batteries only produce five, whereas hangar bays produce ten. So a, fu a fully upgraded, well, sorry, I should say, a star fortress where you have all six modules unlocked, hangar bays will give you 60 trade protection, which is twice as much as the gun and missile batteries would give you. They'd only give you 30. Okay, so that's an advantage that the hangar bays have. Um over the gun and missile batteries. That, and it's not really a co direct combat benefit, but a, an actual d sort of indirect combat benefit is that because Strikecraft... It's not so much that Strikecraft are like really strong in this version, but Strikecraft, in terms of fleet power, are rated higher than regular weapons. Um, so if you had, let's say, a fleet of cruisers and battleships, and they are decked to the nines with Strikecraft... They would, you know, they should, I should say, theoretically be rated uh, 
on a per ship basis and ultimately the entire fleet. It should be rated with higher overall fleet power than uh, a fleet of cruisers and battleships with like artillery and, blo and broadside sections and just sporting a metric shit ton of weapons, right? Uh, the same is true for star bases. If you have hangar bays and you have some, uh, you have a bunch of uh, defense platforms with um, hangar bay modules on, on them as well, the fleet power of the star bases does get artificially inflated even higher than if you did just gun batteries and and uh, defense platforms with like large guns on them or some crap like that, to the point where it will give and like the AI factors in when uh, it wants to go to war with you. It also factors in like how strong are your defenses. So, in the case of your uh, star bases, by inflating their fleet power with hangar bays and strike craft in general instead of just regular weapons, they look stronger than than they actually are and it's more likely to keep hostile empires or empires that want to subjugate you at bay from actually declaring war and attacking you. Three, four, okay. So that's that's good. That would cover all of that. Interesting. But yeah, those are more, those are those are more passive benefits than actual combat related benefits. Hangar bays are still pretty damn good. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, like I said, me personally just because Strikecraft can be uh, counteracted and intercepted by flak and it, uh, by some extension uh, point defense as well. I just prefer gun batteries. That's me. In terms of actual effectiveness for your defense platforms, the best thing to throw on them is uh, neutron launchers. Uh, because neutron launchers are absolutely fucking devastating against... Um, against enemy ships, especially the larger ships like cruisers and battleships uh, that have very low evasions. So, um, a good thing thing to do would be have uh, go to ship designer. Why is this taking so long? Oh my god, there it is. The Necroid Titan. This is what we were all waiting for. That thing looks that thing looks like a beast. I like it. I like how it's just like these partial pillars through the middle there. You can actually see right through it. That is a good looking ship. Move over, Plantoids Titan. There's a new Big Papa in town. And it looks pretty fucking good too. <laughs> I like that. What's the ion cannon look like? Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Okay. Anyways, enough uh, swooning over the... Uh, art department doing their job, which they did a fucking awesome job. Uh, let's see, tachyon sensors and zero point power? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, let's throw on deflectors. Deflectors everywhere! Because I have... I have the power! Alright, so... Until you replace them, like early on, defense platforms that look like this, where they have hangar stations, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, however, sometime down the line, you will want actual defense platforms that are uh, objectively useful. So you'll want something more akin to... Oops, nope, don't get rid of that. Uh, Alright, let's do a defense platform design. Boop! You'll want something more akin to this. You will want uh, a defense platform design with two heavy station sections and, and dual neutron launchers, like so. And then set up your defenses as you see fit. I would, uh, me personally, I would go with auxiliary fire control to up the accuracy of the weapons from 90% to 100%. And then you would still have tracking from your computer and your sensors. And I think you would get like 20 tracking from the uh, sentient computer and 15 tracking from the sensors. Maybe it's just 15 and 15. So like 30 to 40 tracking from those items. So tracking is okay uh, at 40. So your neutron launchers will still, uh, like, borderline never miss uh, cruisers and battleships, and they are devastating. And then set up your defenses how you want. Um, but you'll want a lot of stations like that. However, you, you will also want some stations that um, may be, like, medium slots that have, like, a decent mix, uh, because mediums are a decent mix between... Um, accuracy and tracking and still some still have put out some decent damage 
So like these would be okay against the smaller ships, namely corvettes, and still be you know okay against like cruisers and battleships. Maybe the cruisers and battleships would stay outside the range of these things, or you could do it. You could do it like one heavy station section and a light station section, so that you throw on another large weapon here. Maybe just another neutron launcher, or maybe like a large laser, whatever you want. And then on your small station section, throw on things like lasers, auto cannons, maybe some uh, mass drivers or something like that. Um, actually, you could throw on kinetic artillery on the heavy on the heavy section. So uh, this is just me coming up with this on the fly. If you if you have it where uh, like I in my opinion, a good mix would be you have your you have your neutron launcher um, defense platforms. And for every, let's say, two or three of these, you have a, um, something like this, where it's one heavy station, and instead of a mass driver, do like a kinetic battery or something like that, because they're good, at, they're good against shields, and they also have really long range, similar to neutron launchers, um, and then you have a light station section. Now the light station sections are strictly to have small weapons to deal with those pesky ass corvettes that will fly in and swarm uh, the uh, the starbase. And then just throw on some high accuracy and high tracking weapons. Um, you know, mass drivers not so great for that because the only uh, small ones only have 75% accuracy. With 50 tracking, lasers are good for that because they have 90% accuracy and 50 tracking. Plasma, eh, they're okay. 80 accuracy, 40 tracking. Less tracking than a mass driver, but better accuracy. Um, another good one is auto cannons um, in the small slots to deal with corvettes. So like a mix of lasers and auto cannons. This is before you have dumped a lot of time into researching certain repeatable technologies to improve weapons like energy weapons and or kinetic weapons and that kind of crap. Okay, so until you get to that point, something like this would actually be okay. So, for like I said, for every two or three of those platforms where you have uh, just dual neutron launchers on it, you have like one of these to help kind of round things out. And like I said, instead of a large mass driver, you have a kinetic battery. So, basically, for every platform that has a kinetic battery, there's like two or three others firing anywhere between four to six neutron launchers. <laughs> At the enemy ships and the reason for that is neutron launchers do have a small damage penalty against shields of 50 percent but they have fi plus 50 percent to armor and plus 75 percent damage uh to hull um so the kinetic battery up for that the kinetic batteries are strict strictly for hammering any en enemy ships and dropping their shields out so that your neutron launchers can finish them off and neutron launchers are really good for that because they have a really, really high damage value. Look at that. Minimum damage is 468, while the maximum is 1,040. So at plus 75% hull damage, uh, let's just do some quick head maths here. 75% um, of 400 is like another 100, so we'll just round that. We'll just round that around there and say it's an extra 115 because 460. Uh, one quarter of uh, 468 is 115. So 115, 230, um, 345. So another 345 damage on top of that. So that you're looking at um, 505, 805 plus another eight. So like 813 damage to hull minimum. Uh, there's not a lot of ships. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of ship designs that you can come up with that have 800 hull. Um, the battleship has 3,000 base. Uh, the cruiser has 1,800. Uh, sorry, I, I worded that wrong. There's not there's not a lot of ships that you can come up with that will have um, that can sorry withstand many hits from a weapon that's dealing. Uh, like 800 hull damage so barring slapping a shitload of crystal plating on this cruiser design three neutron three neutron launchers and this cruiser's dead so even a fleet of like 50 cruisers is dead in 150 neutron launcher hits just to the hull that's not including factory and armor and stuff like that so yeah like when you have um, 
like I said, when you have a setup, as I suggested, where it's like three neutron launcher platforms and one platform with a mix of kinetic artillery and things. So you've basically got it really from those neutron launcher platforms. There's no, if there's no, and no armor left on those ships, they're destroying like upwards of two cruisers each volley. Man, these guys just can't. I don't know if any of that's thinking back. Man, I was all over the fucking play nation. <laughs> I'll, I'll just put things in perspective for you, uh, Neomatic. Statistically speaking, and there has been n numerous... Uh, statistically speaking, the best weapons for taking out enemy ships has been proven time and again to be neutron launchers. They only go in not large slots, and because they just do a massive amount of damage uh, with each hit, and they have, that, uh, they have that bonus damage to armor and a pretty big bonus damage value to hull... They're absolutely devastating against ships that have uh, either been constructed with few defenses um, or, like, in a battle, their defenses have been uh, their defenses have been taken out by other weapons, and they've lost all their shields, they lost all their hull. They will be dead within, like, a few hits from neutron launchers. Um, something else to factor in, too... Which is that um, because of the high damage per hit from a neutron launcher, uh, the odds that a ship is able to successfully escape an emergency FTL before suffering critical damage and you know being destroyed, um, the odds of them actually successfully ex escaping is lower. Uh, let's see here, ship designer. Like, here, here's a good example. This de this destroyer... Never mind that it has 300 shields. This destroyer only has 800 hull. A single neutron launcher will take it out. Once it's down to just hull. If that makes any sense. And those actually have, like, pretty high um, disengagement chance. So when it when it gets de-shielded and then slapped with a neutron launcher, it chances are un very very unlikely that it's going to be able to disengage and then come back to fight another day. Chances are it's just going to straight up get fucking blown to smithereens. Oh look, they opened their borders again. Cool. Good to know. Why the fuck do they keep doing that? That is getting extremely annoying. Nation of Hesche. Approved relations. Blah blah blah. pretty decent terms with them. This mutual threats thing is really really making friends. Making us friends in the galaxy, I should say. Like, these guys are at plus 200 for mutual threats. Plus 200 for mutual threats. Plus 191 for mutual threats. Probably because uh, the Zelvin Swarm absolutely kicked the shit out of us and generated a lot of threat in their last assault. <laughs> Alright, Gamma Lasers is done. There's Tachyon Lances. Plus 100% armor damage. Mm -mm. 45 months for Mega Engineering. Woo! Why are we looking at unemployment? Okay, we're losing 16 consumer goods uh, each month right now. You know what I should have done here is a goddamn clone bat. Why didn't I think of that? What is wrong with you, Moby? Why are you so dumb? All right. Three more pops, and we're going to get two in a little while here. Three more pops, and uh, then I will get clone bats, and that will help. That will definitely help. What are we looking at here? Necrophytes. Anyways, if I could, if I can suggest anything to learn Neomanic, uh, there is a lot of uh, stuff done by uh, Montu Plays regarding uh, ship designs and which weapons are most effective when facing off against uh, what kind of enemy ship. So, like, he fi he basically figures out like what destroyer design is 
best against corvettes? What destroyer design is best against enemy cruisers? What destroyer design is best against enemy battleships? Um, and he's he did basically all the same kind of testing that I've been wanting to do in console edition for quite some time, uh, but would require a second person to do it. And cons um, multiplayer in console has been quite unstable for me. I'm rarely able to play with somebody for a very long time. <laughs> Uh, really been able to do it. Anyways, a uh, plays definite his stuff. He's got a whole fucking playlist about uh, Stellar stuff like that, and he's got lots of videos, especially lately, that go over um, uh, ship designs. That's what I was going to say. I am now lacking in alloys, and I just want a goddamn fleet academy. What's a guy got to do to get a fleet academy? Come on. Yeah, let's sell that, and we'll buy a few. There we go. And Jeff's Bane Station. Here we go. Fleet academy. Where the hell is it? Oh, I passed it. There we go. Word. Very good. Okay, so where the hell are my armies? Wait, what? Okay, something really weird is going on because I have lost all of my armies on new YT, Maug, whatever. Like, all the armies are gone. We don't have 100% uh, devastation, but they're still just sitting there with their ships. Okay, game. I'm sure you're working just fine. This is perfectly normal, right? Okay, we're two pops away from, uh... Why is... What the hell? Oh, we must be brokering peace because the game's, like, really froze up. Let's see what happens. Oh, Jesus! Sensors indicate several synchronous subspace disruptions, the closest one reported in the Hell's Maw system. The disturbances are rapidly subsiding, but we have yet to determine what caused them. Keep a watchful eye. Okay, so somebody opened up the Elgate, and Eldrakes came out. Sweet. Four more pops for technicians, and then we can actually add a building to create some more jobs on this world. I'm not going to worry about anything other than filling in those technician slots, because we still desperately need... Uh... uh energy credits. That's the one. How the fuck is there 26 dark matter from Great Wound? What the hell? Wow. Wow. Oh, let me guess. These guys closed their borders again. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. I would love to get Great Wound under my control. 26 dark matter. Senate has voted and failed on blah, 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 whatever. Minor military sanctions. Let's support it. Sure, why not? Enable council veto power. Sure, support it. Why not? Who the fuck cares? It's not like it's what we do. Repeal buzzword standardization. Sure, this support it. Uh, what about this thing? Support it. Yep. Anyway, we're, whatever you guys propose, we'll support it. Yep, that's our plan. Please don't kill us. <laughs> Please help us. If you like us enough, will you help us? <laughs> 94% stick. I love it. Okay. Get rid of some... Start getting rid of some tech, technicians on new YT, Maug, whatever. If we, if we get Eden Prime back, then we can get rid of a lot of these agriculture here too, the farmers, or well, time I should say, because I guarantee Eden Prime is a friggin' shell of its former self, and has like no f pops on it. Habitat central control. Oh yeah, excellent. All right. Three exotic gases a turn, or a month. Woo, a turn. 
You'd think I was playing a different game. What the hell? God damn it, Moby. Well, I guess, uh, you're not a mining world, but okay. Do? Sure. Oh, hello. A small fleet of dere derelict Kixlufferin war warships was recently discovered in the Kepdaran system, not far from the territory of the Kixlufferin Corsairs. Computer logs on the ships indicate that their crews fled into our space to escape some kind of clan feud. Unfortunately for them, they brought few supplies and soon starved to death. The ships have been adrift ever since. Our engineers have gone over to the ships and they appear to be in decent condition. If they are crewed, we could commission them into service with our own fleet. Oh, they're space junk. Scrap them for a whopping 200 minerals. <laughs> Let's gain some... Oh, Jesus. Uh... I thought, I thought we found... I thought we found that it had kept Duran. Where the... What the... God damn it. Five ships. You really want to play Age of Wonders? Nah, not really. We, we got five ships, and poof, they're gone. Wow. We also have our Zar Clan's pilgrims knocked down to a single escort class. My horrific. Okay, so what the hell is this Konomi? What is this? Where did this come from? That was not mine. I did not colonize that. What is that? That's like the fucking... Oh. Size 24 desert world. What was I doing on this world? I can't remember. Is this the one we were turning into an Ake Monopolis? I do not recall. Oh, look. Borders are open again. Oh, look. I still don't care. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do selected lineages. Nah, Fireforge, I told you, I got I picked up a new game on discount this weekend, Immort Immortals Phoenix Rising. <laughs> I've been playing the crap out of it lately. I played it a lot Sunday evening, and I played it for quite a few hours yesterday because I was stuck at home, and I was like, well, I don't want to sleep all day. I think we were turning this into a Aka Monopolis. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is an urban world. Bam. There we go. And I need a uh, architectural something, something, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Create create this. Yeah. Sector. Sector time. Yeah. Sector. And let's go ahead and new YT Moog, whatever. Leader. Uh, this guy. There you go. Sure. Why not? Uh, Kanoon. Uh, we're going to rename this into whatever um, because I don't have a name. So we're just going to go with whatever. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Cool. And now we need a architectural interest. Look at that. Another minus 10% to district cost. So right now, because uh, a city district was normally 450 minerals. Now it's 400. And if we assign an architectural interest leader, that should drop it down to 350, which it did. Look at that. And... It will not take 480 days to construct either. It only takes 209. So we've got our leader with architectural interest reducing, uh, sorry, reducing the district cost and increasing planetary build speed by 10%. And the urban world modifier is decreasing city district cost by 10% and increasing city district build speed by 25%. So this is going to go a lot faster and be significantly cheaper than you would think. 25 districts at 450 minerals. You're looking at that's like nine thousand minerals, more than nine thousand minerals, just under, ju uh, uh, sorry, more than ten thousand, as a matter of fact, uh, because four hundred and fifty times ten, that's four thousand five hundred, so times twenty would be nine thousand, and then another five. You're looking at what is that, two thousand two hundred and fifty? So yeah, eleven thousand two hundred and fifty. So we just dropped that by. Uh, 100 times 25. So we just dropped that amount by like 2,500 minerals. So it's still like 9,000 minerals to do all of it. But that's fine. Uh, 
We were able to construct 13, whereas previously we would have only been to, able to do about 10. Very good, very nice. Okay, we need uh, a building. I'm going to get rid of all of this first. You can fuck right off. Let's do a robot plant first. Uh, robot assembly plant, yes, please. As soon as another pop is grown, I'll do like three city districts. Once another pop is grown, we need a chamber of elevation. Why is there an enforcer? So, oh, because of the capital building. Shit. Okay, nothing I can do about that. I will lock out the enforcer once we get the chamber of elevations because we don't need an enforcer right now. We need a... Uh, uh, necrophyte. Zarklan wills it. Oh, look. Zarklan's pilgrims. Battling these guys immediately. And getting their asses kicked. See you guys. <laughs> oh, we lost the battle cruiser. Damn it. I was hoping the battle cruiser would survive. Oh well, whatever. How does that one meme go? I don't give a fuck. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Down to 20 minutes in the stream already. Man. Time flies when you're getting your ass kicked, I guess. I don't fucking know. I can lock out a couple technicians. See, what what the hell's going on here? I was at like 90 energy credits, and just now I lost like two technicians. And I'm all the way down to fucking 40? Are you kidding me? Commercial packed invitation. Here at Canada Rev Trading Coalition, we consistently deliver more for less, and today we would like to offer you a deal you simply cannot refuse. A commercial pact with us. Tell us you can't refuse. I can refuse. It's called boom. Done. Alright. Emergency measures. Reverence for life. Cool story, bro. Fleet combat stats. Sure, whatever. Look at all the territory we're getting back. Isn't that just fantastical? Oh, they feel protective of you, yes. And yes, we are still alive, Strength Norse. We're getting territory back. It has absolutely nothing to do with us. But we're getting territory back. Hey, do you think the Zelvin Swarm will have their fleet attack the enigmatic cache? Probably not, but it'd be interesting. Oh, shit. They're actually using the Elgate. Wow. Okay. Unexpected. What are they doing with the L gates, I wonder? Maybe they're using them to zip over to the Demon's Maw. Oh, hello. I've got this territory back as well. That's why. Okay. I didn't colonize that world. At least not yet. Let's check out a shike. Let me guess. Eldrake? Hello, Eldrake. What's happening? It is like absolutely frozen. It's not even moving. Well, that's a little weird. Okay, whatever. Whoop, whoop. What the hell's going over here? This is the Kix Luffren Corsairs? What? How did they get a little piece of the pieway over there? Jeez. This territory is just 12 types of buggered up because of all these previous wars and conquests in our territory. Crazy. It's great, though. <laughs> in my opinion. Oh, shit, wait, where are you? Uh, why are you flying to UNAC? Whatever. Jeff's Bane system, hello. Where are you going? Unknown orders. Already jumping somewhere, though. Oh, no, no you're not. All right. Cool story, bro. 
Mandusura Commerce Guild has completed construction of their science nexus in the Clea system. Wow, the Mandusura Commerce Guild have constructed a science nexus, disproving all who doubted and placing them on the forefront for scientific progress. We may want to keep an eye on them, as the completion of such a structure will surely propel their technology into the future, giving them an advantage over other civilizations. Indeed. Uh, Mandasura Commerce Guild. They are part of the other federation that we're not a part of. Shit. Can we form a research agreement with them? Mandasura, Mandasura, Mandasura. Thank you. Uh, hello? Dimensional trade increases. Yay. Don't care. Uh, form research agreement. It requires positive relations. Or an envoy to improve relations. Okay. Let's go ahead. Can we say Nation of Hesse, go fuck yourself? Let's see. M Nation of Hesse. Improve relations is 56. Eh. Uh, sure. Yeah, we can, we can do without that. Uh, improve relations. Uh, these guys. Yeah. Relative technological benefits 100. Ha! <laughs> send it anyways. There you go. Don't you want to be a part of our cool little research pact? We have so much to gain from each other. No, holy hematologic republic. Your primitive technology is interest to us. Oh, It hurt my feelings. You know what? Next time, Matt, the Mandasura Council, uh, Mandasura Council, Mandasura. Next time, the Mandasura Commerce Guild uh, uploads their fucking um, Galaxy Tube videos of their science nexus to the extranet, we're gonna downvote them and leave nasty comments and call them asshole. You've been warned. You ready to get wrecked, Mandasura? Alright, chamber of action, please. Okay, and that's that. Now we can move this here, go like so. Chamber of elevation, yay. Lock out the enforcer because you are not doing me anything right now. And then after those, we will need the thing. Um, what's it called? Who's the. Uh, clone vets is what I was going to say. All right, cool. And then we go back to city districts. In fact, we will do more city districts right now. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's good enough. Right on. And we've got the Hell's Maw system back under our control. Dope. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, what the fuck just happened? Don't get out of here. I want another hangar bay. There we go. All right. And then we are also going to do, uh, let's do a dis uh, calm jammer. That'll work. Quarry, why are you having problems on quarry? Oh, are you getting bombed? Yes, you are. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> There's one I like to say a lot. Wow. <laughs> hey, want to see me do my Owen Wilson impression? Wow. <laughs> and the borders are closed again. I don't care. You know what? You guys can go fuck yourselves. Dicks. Since devastation is above 75%, planetary armies take double damage from bombardment. Yikes. Planetary FTL inhibitors will no longer function once devastation is above 50%. That's cray cray. Oh, geez, I just realized there's only 10 minutes left in this stream. 
too busy dicking around and just laughing at how awful our situation is. And I'm just like, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's that o'clock. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get everybody. Where, where the, f why the fuck are you way over there? What else is over here? Come on, get with the program. 321 days to get there. Are you shitting me? Uh, let's go ahead and do a merge. Oh my god, that worked. No way! No way. We've got our ragtag fleet of god knows what we want to call them. It's, it has... Uh... uh, uh I don't even know. Where are you going now? Hey, what the? Hold the phone, kiddos. Go here. Just go, go there and repair, please. Thank you. Do. Uh, anyways, where are all the ships? Physically don't see them all, but whatever. Uh, so there's there's a raider in there. So oh, it's at the front of. No, is that it? Oh, it is. Wow, it looks like. <laughs> so there's the one raider. We've got our frigate, which is this guy over here, and then our cruiser is this guy, this big guy with the raider inside of it for some reason. And we have two escorts. I only see one. What a motley collection of crap this is. It's great. I love it. Penal colonies. Hell yeah. Something else we won't use. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we will. Explorix. Oh, no. That's the wrong way. Uh, oh. It goes like this. There we go. That's more like it. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, fleet combat stats, huh? Oh, hello there. Jeff Spain, back under my control. Oh, yeah. How are we doing on our empire capital? Devastation has not gone up. Nice. Um, so the hollow theaters might be excessive, but I'm putting them on there anyways. Because that'll shoot our amenities through the friggin' stratosphere. Then maybe these assholes will stop complaining. Eh, living conditions are terrible. You're just getting bombed from orbit. I don't see what the problem is. Alright? Get over it. They're not that bad. Oh. The Great Whetstone. An extended period of unrelenting border skirmishes with the Kixlofren Corsairs has hardened our serving naval crews. Their abilities have been tempered in battle, and our forces have even adopted several complex Kixlofren combat maneuvers that will give them an edge in future conflicts. Marauder Whetstone modifier added for 120 months, which is 10 years, giving the following effects, plus 10% ship fire rate. Man, it would be great if we got that in a, in a situation where... We were actually able to make take advantage of it, eh? Like, in a war that we were kind of, sort of, evenly matched or winning, barely. The Dar Hash Trade Commission. Who the fuck are you guys? What? Did you guys have a rebellion? I think they did. Sucks to be them. Ha <laughs> ha! Their, their capital is in Wenkwert. Huh. Alright. Interesting. Unexpected. The Zelven Swarm is about to hit 100% uh, war exhaustion. Pretty close. They're at 97%. Meanwhile, our Federation is only at 65%. Why? Because apparently our Federation is awesome. Colony gained! Oh, we got great power back. Baby! Oh, look at... Oh, oh. 
Oh, yeah. All those generator districts. This is going to be great. Let's lock up the clerk jobs. Oh, fuck. Lock up the clerk jobs now. Don't care. Fuck off. Don't want clerks. Don't want enforcers. Uh, how the hell do I have buildings that are still... Okay, these are getting uh, disabled. Uh, how do I... I have to downgrade, then demolish, don't I? Uh, disable. And the energy nexus can stay online. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I am not dealing with double research complexes. Uh, you know what I might have? Oops, oh shit, what the great power. There it is. What's these guys are... I don't know, maybe we... Uh, Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Well, our fleet just got slapped. That's too bad. And our salvage fleet just got slapped. Or did they? I don't know anymore. All right, who's unemployed here? Uh, this guy. So you can go and do work. Do stuff. <laughs> Station meter is way up there like that. I wonder what's going to happen. Do these guys, if these guys have the Armageddon bombardment stance. Uh, if I recall correctly, when you bomb a uh, habitat to 100% devastation and you have the Armageddon bombardment stance, which would turn a world into a tomb world, uh, memory serves that a habitat just gets destroyed. I don't recall. So that's a fully upgraded habitat, and it looks fucking cool. So this is a level 2. So a level 1 habitat is just that funky thing in the very middle. Level 2 adds these floating platforms, the six floating platforms on the outside. And then level 3, which is fully upgraded, gives it that big spinny, rotating, giant triangle thingy. And yes, that's a very technical term. If DJ Truthsayer could call the thing in a, in a mega structure a spinny, rotating cube thingy, and that is the canonical term for that spinny rotated cube thingy, then I can call the thingy underneath a necroid habitat a spinny rotated triangle thingy bobber. And it is the official name for the game. Well, to be fair, DJ works for Paradox, and I don't, so maybe... Maybe they won't actually put that in the game. <laughs> I'm just looking at the territory. And this is vomit inducing. <laughs> that looks awful. Look, this, you can tell that this is a heavily contested area of space, though, because, geez, we've got the Kix Luffering Car uh, Crusade, uh, Corsairs, the Apathic Cartel. There's me that originally had the, ter uh, the territory. And then we've got the Yaks, uh, the Zelvin Swarm, with some territory in there somewhere, too. And it's like, holy crap. What do we do about this? All right, we're just under the two-hour mark. Um, there's only like so I'm just gonna save here and uh, call her a night. Big thank you to everybody who came by to watch me playing live. I greatly appreciate it. There was a lot of you. Strength Norse, Neil, Orsic, Firephage, uh, Orsic, Orsic, Fireforge. Holy, I, I almost said Fire Sage, except I'm like Fireforge and Fire Sage, so Firephage. There you go. <laughs> uh, Emperor Badger, MJ Stevens. Um, Christ, who else was there? Semper Buffo, good to see you, bud. I know you didn't stick around, but I greatly appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, Alpha Yang Delete. Um, do, 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 do. Ancient Gamer. Uh, crap, who else was here? I think that's everybody. Drac dropped in for a little bit as well. Chadman4450, that would be uh, Gorgonox. Uh, and I think that covers everybody yeah it was a uh, not much to do just watching everything go to shit 
<laughs> pretty much, but as as badly as we're getting slapped around, we live to fight another day. Yes, there will be another Vampires stream later this week. <laughs> oh man, we every time it's just like, oh shit, we're screwed. And then, you know, it's not us, it's the alliances that we've made that is saving our butts. First it was the Great Khan, now it's our Federation, and our Federation is kicking the crap out of the Zelvin Swarm, and I love it. But yeah, huge thank you to those of you who came by to watch me playing this live. I greatly appreciate it. And those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below how you think this playthrough is going. And uh, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on my live stream content as well as my Solaris Console Edition videos. There are links in the description below that I want you to check out. You'll find one for the official Solaris Discord where you can become part of the Greater Solaris community. Uh, more importantly, uh, you'll find links to my own personal stuff. For example, if you want to join us for these live streams, we have a lot of fun in them. And it'd be awesome to have you there uh, to, uh, to chat with joining us in the live streams. Uh, you'll find a link to my Twitch channel down in the description below. Give me a follow there and pop on over Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Hang out with me for a couple hours. It'd be great to see you. Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays are the nights for Stellaris Console Edition. Uh, you'll also find a link to my Twitter feed. Give me a follow there as I post important announcements all the time. Last but not least, there's a link to my own personal Discord for fans of my content to freely join. If you want to uh, chat with other people who also watch my stuff or you would like a way to be able to communicate with me on a daily basis. That's it for t me tonight. We'll be back on Thursday finishing off Mass Effect Legendary Edition uh, to kick off uh, the December streams. Um, it will be a full three-hour stream, and it will be the last one that I do uh, for three hours, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. I don't think I will do three-hour long streams, uh, probably not until we get into XCOM 2, if necessary. But yeah, that's it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. This is Movies signing off for now, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.